on point, getting ready for the green. Kyle Bates, car number 74 alongside. Here we go, green flag in the air, off turn number four, Mullins leads him in. Jeremy Leahy tries to dive to the bottom of the speedway, he'll take that second spot, all problems for Kyle Bates on lap number one, all the way to the top of the track, and that holds up Jerry Langton. Langton will now drop all the way to the back. Up front is Tim Mullins leading lap number one, we're three wide for second. Scott Campbell on the move early in car number 83, as Elijah Keeper got big problems in that number 81 car. Looks like he'll be headed for the pit area. Colt Cheever's on the move through the middle of the pack, but out in front it's Tim Mullins. Elijah Keeper continues to motor around, but his time on the speedway is about to come to an end. Looks like a rear suspension problem for the 81 car. Mullins leads Scott Campbell, Ian Morissette, Jeremy Hazel, and Jared McIntyre, your top five. John Langton on the charge into 35, trying to move forward into that top five. He's right up on the back of the nine of Jared McIntyre. McIntyre up on the top side of the speedway, side by side now for that fifth spot with John Langton. John Langton on the charge, got a finger alongside the 15 of Jeremy Hazel. Langton working hard down on the hub. He'll take over that number four spot, the 35 on the charge is McIntyre up into the outside wall. Colt Cheever trying to move his way forward through the traffic. He's got Jeremy Hazel just ahead. Out in front, 16 of Tim Mullins leads, but Scott Campbell is on his back bumper. And the speaking of on the charge, John Langton now up to third in car number 35. Langton hooking it up on the bottom, trying to chase down the top two as we got three wide back in the pack. Cole Cheever's not giving up on that top lane. Moving up into the top five. Top three nose to tail off turns one and two, all running the bottom of the racetrack. Scott Campbell right up on the back bumper of Tim Mullins, number 16. But again, both cars running that bottom lane. Nowhere to go as we got a caution up in turns one and two. All right, getting the field lined up, getting ready for the restart. Tim Mullins has been out front so far, but everybody on the bottom of the speedway, and that's gonna make it tough to pass. Gotta pass them where they ain't. Right now, the Mullins machine has that low lane covered. The only car running up on the top making time was Colt Cheevers. He's up into the top five, and we'll see if he's able to make ground on this restart. And I really think if you're gonna pass the leaders, you're gonna have to go up and race up towards the outside. Looks like we got some t-shirts getting ready to be shot up into the grandstand. And indeed we do.
All right. You know, if the paper boy would use one of those, it'd make life a lot more exciting. I don't, we even have paper boys anymore. Tim Mullins out in front, Scott Campbell second. And this restart could be interesting if it is indeed a double file restart. I gotta believe that Tim Mullins will choose the bottom lane. That'll put John Langton down on the bottom. Wow, and that really surprises me that Tim Mullins, oh no, I take that back on the Delaware double file restart. Of course, the leader out in front by themselves. So Scott Campbell had lane choice and he does choose the bottom. So, may not work out as good for John Langton, but we'll see how it all shakes out as we get ready to go under the green flag next time by. Delaware double file restart, the leader out in front by himself. The second place car chooses a lane and Scott Campbell wisely chose that bottom lane. However, John Langton being forced up there may find some grip He'll have Colt Cheevers right up on his back bumper for the restart. Off turn number four, coming down the line. Tim Mullins leads him in. Here we go, Green. And Colt Cheevers making the top side work. And John Langton also making up a little bit of time as well. Off turn number four to the top of the racetrack and to the top of the leaderboard goes Colt Cheevers. John Langton using the upper lane, moving up into the number two spot. So there is some grip up there, but unfortunately nobody was using it. John Langton trying his best to clear the 16 car. He's good down on the bottom, but right now cannot move around the 16 of Tim Mullins. Cole Cheevers off to the races. Out in front and pulling away from this field. Restarted in the number five position. In one lap, had the lead. Scott Campbell right on the tire tracks of Tim Mullins. Off turn number four, Colt Cheever's already a half a straightaway out in front of the 16 of Tim Mullins. John Langton staying up in that upper lane, trying to make his way around the second and third place drivers. So far, not able to make it work. Cole Cheevers was using an even higher lane, used the lane all the way at the top of the speedway. John Langton trying to use that center lane. So far, not able to make it work. Meanwhile, back in the pack, we're racing three and four wide, four position. Ian Morissette going in the wrong direction in car number 38. Gary Krebs trying to race his way through the traffic. Joey Wiles trying to make his way up through the field as well. Laps winding down here in the Casey General Store Midwest Modified A Main. Two to go that time by, two to go this time by, I should say. Colt Cheevers out in front. This battle for second, third, and fourth still a dandy. Tim Mullins has the number two spot. John Langton just ahead of Campbell as a white flag is in the air for Colt Cheevers. White coming out for this battle behind him. Coming down off turn number four to the line, it's gonna be Colt Cheevers, your feature winner. Battle for second, still heating up off four. It's gonna be Tim Mullins. Scott Campbell, John Langton. So Colt Cheevers, the only car using that top lane for several laps, and he'll make it work as he pulls that 45 car into victory lane.
Well, you got to pass them where they ain't, and that's exactly what Colt Cheevers did. From fifth to first in one lap on the restart. B-Modifieds rolling out, Colt Cheevers rolling out of his race car.